everyone, I am Prachi Agarwal. Welcome to our channel, Learn Competitive Programming with CodeChef. If you are interested in competitive programming and want to learn and master data structures and algorithms, then this is a one-stop destination for you. Because every week we'll post CodeChef problem explanations, conceptual videos on various programming paradigms, and also conduct live problem-solving sessions. But before we actually get started, Here's a reminder to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet already. Great! Now that you have subscribed, let's get started. Today we will be solving the problem Chef and Division 3, which is a cakewalk problem and it belongs to the January long challenge. So without wasting any time, let's get to the problem statement. So guys, in this problem, the chef wants to host some Division 3 contest, but the chef can only host one contest per day and he wants to host these contests for d number of days that means the chef wants to host d number of division 3 contests so what is d d is the number of days for which the contest can be hosted can be hosted means the chef has planned on hosting them for d number of days but since this is a programming contest so whether it will be possible for chef to hold uh, these contests for d number of days or not that will depend on other conditions so let us see what else is given in the problem statement for each contest we will require some problems right so that is why we have n number of setters who are creating problems for the contests and each setter is creating ai problems so we are also given that uh, every setter is creating how many problems so we have n setters and we are we will be given with an array a which will tell us that uh, uh, each setter will create how many number of problems now one more condition is that every contest should have a fixed number of k problems in it that means how many contests can be held will depend on the total number of problems that we have because we are supposed to uh, have k problems for each number of contests so if the chef wants to hold d number of contests but there are not enough problems then it will not be possible and if there are more number of problems and the chef can host more than d contests then also he will only hold d number of contests because that is what the chef has planned so we have to find out that maximum how many contests are possible to be held within these d days now one thing is very clear right that uh, one contest will be held per day and we know that uh, each contest will have a fixed number of k problems so uh, the number of contests possible will directly depend on the total number of problems and from where we will find out the total number of problems that we will get from this array A which is telling us the number of problems set by each setter. So here we can sum up uh, all the problems and uh, find out that how many problems we have. So now let us take an example and discuss this problem further. Here I have taken D equals to 4 which means that a chef wants to host division 3 type contest for 4 days because we know that uh, each day one contest can only be held. So if he wants to uh, hold these contests for 4 days, that means he wants that 4 division 3 type contests should be held. Now I have taken n equals to 3 here, which means that we have 3 setters with us who are creating the problems for the contest. Setter A uh, or setter 1 is creating 3 problems, setter 2 is creating 2 problems and setter 3 is creating 6 problems. So how many total problems do we have? We have a total of 11 problems with us. And I have taken k equals to 2 here which denotes the fixed number of problems that each contest will have. So it is mandatory for every contest to have 2 problems each. So now based on the given values, how many contests will be possible? Let us see. So we know the total number of problems that we have that is uh, 11 problems and we are denoting this with a variable named as total and we also know that how many problems are required for each contest that is k equals to 2 2 problems are required uh, or are mandatory for each contest that will be hosted 
so we can easily find out that how many contests are actually possible that can be held based on the number of problems that we have so the contests possible will be total divided by k the total number of problems divided by the number of problems required for each contest and we will take the floor value of this why let us see uh, here we have a total of 11 problems and if we divide this by 2 that is the fixed number of problems for each contest then what we'll get here is 5.5 but there cannot be 5.5 contests right there will either be 5 contests or there will either be 6 contests but how can there be 6 contests if this value is 5.5 it cannot be greater than that right so that is why we will always have to take the floor value of this total divided by k so here we can say that 5 contests are possible based on the number of problems that we have but we already know that chef had planned this uh, uh, hosting of contests for only 4 days that means he only wanted to host the uh, contest 4 times in 4 days so that is why here our answer will be 4 because what we are supposed to find out is that how many maximum number of uh, division 3 type contests can be held within these d days so within these d days we can only host 4 contests even though the possibility could have been 5 now uh, there are two things either your total divided by k that means the total number of contests that are possible they can be less than d or or it can be greater than d so the greater than d example we have already seen here uh, greater than d means that the number of contests possible are more than uh, what chef had planned so in that case definitely our answer will be d but if your contests possible are less than what chef had planned that means uh, that chef will not be able to hold all D contests because uh, based on the number of problems the uh, contests that can be held are lesser this value can even turn out to be zero which means that chef cannot hold any of the contests so in that case what will be our answer in that case our answer will be total divided by K which means the number of contests possible which will be our answer because that is the maximum number of contests possible in d number of days so basically we can say that uh, whichever is lesser that is the number of contests possible or uh, the d number of contests that the chef plans to hold whichever of these value is lesser will be our answer now let us discuss the input output and constraints too so the first line of input contains a single integer t which is denoting the number of test cases uh, number of test cases means that uh, for how many inputs we'll have to uh, uh, like port this and for each test case the first line will be a three space separated integers n k and d now what is this n k and d we have already discussed in the problem and they will be given to us in this format n k and d uh, space separated integers so we will have to split them and store them in separate variables to use them then again uh, for each test case uh, the second line of input will be uh, n space separated integers which will be an array which contains that how many problems are set by each of the n setters uh, so this we will use to sum up uh, and find out the total number of problems that we have now what will be the output so for the output we will have to print a single line of integer that is the maximum number of division 3 contests that the chef can host within these d number of days so that we will have to print now let us look at the constraints so the constraints for uh, the number of test cases is 10 to the power 3 and for uh, the number of setters it is 10 to the power 2 and for k d it is 10 to the power 9 which you may feel is quite high but what we are actually doing with this uh, problem is we are just calculating total divided by k 
okay right and this is the only thing that we are doing after that we are just checking that if this value is greater than b then b will be our answer and if this value is lesser than b then total divided by k that means the uh, contest number of contests possible will be our answer so that means we are not doing any uh, any bulky operation here so our time complexity will be order of 1 because we are just performing one arithmetic operation here so guys now that we have understood the approach to the problem i would urge you to please try this problem on your own try to code it on your own and if you still find any difficulty then you can come back and check out the code that i'll be discussing further also one more thing that as you all know competitive programming is such an emerging field that every job interview or every company that you go to will require you to prove that you are uh, good in competitive programming if not the best so and if you are someone who is trying to learn competitive programming finding the right resources is a major problem because there are many resources over the internet true but they are all segregated they are not there in one place so that is why what codechef has thought of is to bring all those resources for you at one place and that is an academy codechef is conducting so many of the free classes on an academy platform just for you so that you can find all the material at one place and not waste your time in uh, you know studying from different places and then the outcome is also not very good so definitely you can go on the unacademy platform and once try out the uh, classes that we have there uh, it will really be beneficial for you guys because you will find a variety of topics there it, there there will be basic topics there will be advanced topics so uh, based on wherever you feel that you lie you can uh, look out or check out the topics and learn from there still not registered on an academy then you can use my coupon code which is prachi16 which will be required for you to register yourself on an academy and have access to all those free classes that are conducted by code chef there so guys please try it out and i'm sure that you will find it very beneficial here goes the code in the first line we had uh, input for the number of test cases then for each test case we will have to take the input and then calculate what we are supposed to print as output so for that we are uh, running a loop so that we can access each of the test cases there are t test cases so this loop will run from 0 to less than t uh, then inside this loop for each test case first we'll be taking the input so the first line of input was three space separated integers that is n k and d so here in python we have a map function which will uh, map all these three values to uh, the integer because whenever we take uh, input like this it is always in the form of uh, a string so we have to convert it into an integer and then we are also splitting the input because we need all these three values in their respective variables that is n k and d after this we have input for uh, how many problems are being created by each of the setters so here also we are doing the same thing just that we have added a list function here what is this list function doing is that it is creating an array and storing it in a now uh, we are calculating total which is the uh, which is storing the number of total problems available to us and how we will get all those total problems we will have to sum up this array so in python we have a function known as sum which we can use to sum up an entire array so that is what we are doing here after this what we are doing we are calculating the possible number of contests based on the number of problems that we have we have the number of problems available to us in this variable total and uh, we also know that for each contest how many problems are required that is the k number of problems so that is why we will uh, get to know the possible number of contests by uh, dividing total with k and i am using the floor division operator here because we are supposed to get the floor value of this division total divided by k now uh, comes the answer part like we will have to check that if the possible number of contests are less than 
D that is the uh, number of contests that the chef plans to host. So if they are lesser then our answer will be contest. And why have I put an equal to here? Because uh, it may also be possible that uh, the number of contests uh, possible are equal to what the chef had planned. So we will have to keep it for either the if part or the else part but it does not matter right. If contests and D values are same then in either way that will only be the answer. So we, you can place this equal to here or just leave it for the else part as well. So uh, then in this case our answer is contest and in the else part what we have is that D is less than contest. That means uh, that the number of contests that the chef had planned is lesser than the possible number of contests. So in that case our answer will be D. And then at last we are just required to print our answer. So guys this was our code. Now if you have understood the entire approach then please do like this video and uh, subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon so that you will stay notified of all the upcoming updates and in case there are any doubts or feedbacks then do post it in the comment section and I'll be very happy to help you. Do try this problem out. Even during the contest if you were not able to solve this problem, no problem. There is a starting step for everything. So please try this problem on your own even after the contest is over.